Vatos, it's kicking back with Sagafu. What's happening? Hey, uh, I just want to talk about cases today because it uh, seems like there's some cases of doom out there that are not protecting our precious DVDs and Blu-rays, but in fact, wrecking them. So I just wanted to talk about those a little bit today. And, uh, you know, it's, it's funny. There's lots of different kinds of cases. You know, you got your Amaray Blu-ray, which are definitely awesome. You know, um, colored cases for DVDs. These are also really good. These protect the discs. But the ones that you don't want are, well, you know, I'm not singling anybody out, but this is fucking ridiculous. I have to put, you know, I, I put padding in there so, you know, it doesn't rattle around and break. But as you can see, this has the discs, uh, you know, stacked on top of each other uh, in a giant mass which also you have to actually bend to get this out so the only way you can get that out without breaking the disc is to bend this and then maybe your disc will come out right without breaking and so that keeps me from watching star trek tng as much as maybe i'd like to you know uh yeah so you know that's one of those funny things. Um, I uh, recently, well, recently for an old guy like me, actually probably not recently, but it uh, was about a couple years ago and the Tales from the Crypt DVD set came out. And, uh, you know, I couldn't afford like, well, there is no Blu-ray, or is there? Uh, another story. Anyways, but, uh, so I got the Tales from the Crypt and it was already... It had radial circular scratches all over the discs. And for a little while, I couldn't figure out if it was just repackaged or something, but it looked like factory packaging. And I know that stuff. I've been uh, selling media for like 30 years, 40 years. I'm old. I've been selling it for a long time. I've been selling for 20 years just on eBay. So that gives you an idea. By the way, check out my eBay page. 100% positive feedback on eBay for 20 years. And I sell extensions of my collection. So, anyways, um, you know, watch out. Uh, I know that I modify a lot of my stuff so that it's in, uh, takes up less room uh, or it's in better packaging. Um, you know, they started out back in the old days, you might get a reel to reel with a case, you know, like this. Ooh, something extra in there. Woo! But you know, that's, you know, that's okay. It's better than what they give us for a lot of DVDs. At least protects the reel. Um, I'm working on that too. I'm not going to say um very much. I'm going to try to edit those out. So. That's just my little rant about DVD cases. Be careful what your DVDs are in. If you can change them into better cases, it's actually a really good idea if you're more worried about having the movie than a pretty case. Uh, by the way, you can see I'm more worried about having the movie than a pretty case, but I still have lots of pretty cases, you know, all that kind of stuff, you know, all that kind of stuff. But see, my stuff's modified, so not only if you stole it, it would not be match up with the pictures, but it has all kinds of extra stuff in here. So of course it's got the original Godzilla Criterion Blu-ray, and then it has a uh, couple of uh, homemade Blu-rays there that have every single Godzilla movie on them. All three of those in actually really surprisingly good quality and uh, with bad aspect ratios. And, uh, and this, and this awesome one you can get on eBay, which is a, just the, the monster battle. So that, you know, that's cool stuff. Anyways, I'll see you next time.